Have you ever walked into a store on a mission to find that one item you've been craving? You know the feeling, scanning the shelves, searching for that familiar logo or distinct design that sets it apart from the rest. Those signals don't just represent a product, they carry the essence of its maker, a mark of quality, purpose, and belonging. In a similar way, the Bible talks about being marked by God. But what does that really mean? Being marked by God means you belong to Him. You're chosen, set apart for something special, just like a product with its maker's logo. The Bible is clear about this truth. In 2 Corinthians 1 22, it says God anointed us, sealed us, and put His Spirit in our hearts. And Ephesians 1 13, 14 says we were marked with the Holy Spirit as God's guarantee. These verses tell us believers are marked, sealed by God as His special possession. It's like having God's logo on our lives showing we belong to Him and have a special purpose. As we explore these signs of being marked by God, I urge you not to leave this video halfway or skip any part of it. By watching till the end, you'll discover how wonderful you are in the eyes of your Creator. You'll realize your true value and understand that you're not just another human passing through life. You're cherished by God. So let's journey together through this video and uncover the profound truth about your identity in God's eyes. But before we delve deeper, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You wouldn't want to miss out on more inspiring content that will ignite your faith and draw you closer to God. Number 1. A Transformed Life Have you ever met someone who was just a completely different person from who they used to be? Maybe an old friend who used to party hard but is now sober and living for God. Or a family member who had a rough past but has made a total 180 degree turn in their attitudes and behaviors. When someone is genuinely marked by God, it shows through a radical transformation in their life. The Bible puts it this way in 2 Corinthians 5.17. If anyone belongs to Christ, there is a new creation. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. It's like being reborn, hitting the reset button and starting fresh with a clean slate. Old sinful desires, habits, and patterns that once controlled you get replaced with an insatiable hunger to live for God's purposes. Your mindset undergoes a complete overhaul, as Romans 12, 2 describes, being transformed by the renewing of your mind. This transformation isn't just a surface-level change, but a deep, inner remodeling that reshapes your core thoughts, motivations, and priorities from the inside out. The things you used to foolishly crave and indulge in now seem empty and unfulfilling. Instead, the call to live wholeheartedly for Christ becomes an unquenchable passion burning within you. It's a shift so profound that your closest friends and family can't help but notice the stark difference in your character, behavior, and outlook on life. What used to interest or excite you holds no appeal anymore, having been replaced by a singular drive to honor God in every aspect of your being. This isn't a temporary phase, but a permanent renovation of your spirit, soul, and mind, a true rebirth initiated by the very hand of the Maker Himself. And just as a baby emerges completely new and fresh from the womb, you are remade into a new creation in Christ, old things passing away as you embrace your gloriously transformed identity. We see powerful examples of this transformation throughout the Bible, like Paul, who went from violently persecuting Christians to becoming one of the biggest evangelists for the faith, or Zacchaeus, the tax collector who had a total moral overhaul after encountering Jesus. So if your life has been flipped upside down, with new God-honoring desires replacing old sinful patterns, it's a profound sign you've been radically transformed and marked by God. As we go to the next way to tell if God has marked you, take a moment to think about your own life. Have you ever changed a lot in a really big way because of God? If so, share your story with us in the comments.
Number 2. A Hunger for God's Word and Prayer Another sign that you've been divinely marked by God is an insatiable hunger for His Word and for prayer. When you begin to notice the normal routine of casual Christianity no longer satisfies, instead, a deep craving arises to go further, to dive deeper into intimate fellowship with your Maker. This intense desire isn't something every believer experiences. It's a special calling, a prompting from the Holy Spirit stirring within you, beckoning you into a closer relationship with God. When your heart and love for Him intensify, when time spent in Scripture and prayer never seems enough, it's an undeniable marker that you belong to Him in a unique way. The Bible captures this longing in Psalm 42. 1. 2. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Just as a parched deer desperately craves life-giving waters, those marked by the Creator develop an unquenchable thirst for the living waters of His presence. You'll find yourself captivated not just by the stories of Scripture, but by the very voice of God speaking through those ancient pages. What may have once felt like a duty now becomes the highlight of your day, that sacred time of intimately connecting with your Heavenly Father through His Word. And your prayer life? It transforms from a rushed moment to a continuous dialogue, an ongoing conversation with the One who longs to guide your every step. You'll find yourself talking to God constantly, seeking His wisdom, leaning on His strength, and pouring out your heart to the One who knows you better than you know yourself. So when you begin to notice these stirrings, don't brush them off as normal. Understand that not every believer has this passion. Many are content to serve God in a religious way. But if the norms no longer please you, if you want something deeper, it's not just a function of your will. It's the Holy Spirit putting a holy hunger in your heart, a sign that something special rests upon you. God is drawing you to a place of deeper intimacy so He can reveal His greatness and mighty works. Even Jesus attests to this, saying, No one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. John 6, 65. This passionate desire isn't something you can manufacture. It's a profound gift, a calling placed within you by your Creator. It's one of the clearest signs you've been specially marked, set apart as His treasured possession, longed for and loved by the One who put that holy hunger within you. And when this hunger for God begins to take root, there's often an enemy that tries to derail it. Just as Moses, by faith, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. When the pleasures of this world no longer satisfy and an insatiable craving for God's presence arises, it's a profound sign that you've been marked for His eternal purposes, which brings us to another profound sign. Number three, spiritual warfare. Another profound sign that you've been marked by God is when you start facing intense spiritual opposition and attacks from the enemy. The Bible makes it clear in Ephesians 6.12 that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. When you belong to Christ, you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness, and the enemy will do everything in his power to try and derail you. 1. Peter 5, 8, 9 warns. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. If you experience overwhelming temptations, persistent accusations, oppression, or demonic harassment, it's a sign you've been marked as a possession of the Most High God. The enemy goes after those who pose a risk to his dominion. Biblical heroes faced intense spiritual battles when following God. Job endured losses and afflictions. Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, and Paul faced persecution. Similarly, David, immediately after being anointed king, 
faced battles against enemies threatening his reign, while the Israelites encountered adversaries on their journey to the Promised Land. So, if you're experiencing heightened spiritual warfare and opposition from the enemy, don't be discouraged. It's actually a sign that you've been claimed by God and have been enlisted in the greatest battle for souls in history. The enemy is simply recognizing the authority and power you carry as one marked by the King of Kings. Though the attacks may be fierce, take heart in the victory won at the cross. Remember, no weapon formed against you will prosper. So arm yourself with the full armor of God and brace for the spiritual battle ahead. The fact that you face opposition is a profound marker of your belonging to the Almighty. Because the devil don't go after everyone. He only come after those who have a great destiny. Facing spiritual attacks and opposition from the enemy is often an unmistakable sign that you've been marked as a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Now, let me ask you, if you faced intense spiritual battles in your life, we'd love to hear how God has strengthened you through those challenges. Share your experiences with us in the comments. Now let move to the next sign. Number four, divine protections. Divine protection is a profound sign that the hand of God is upon your life, shielding you from harm or danger when others may not be as fortunate. Throughout the Bible, we see examples of individuals who were divinely protected in various circumstances. For instance, Jacob, fleeing from Laban's wrath in Genesis 31, was shielded from harm by God's intervention. Similarly, Jesus, threatened by Herod's plot to kill him as an infant, was protected by his heavenly Father until the appointed time for his ministry to begin. Consider moments when you've been unexpectedly shielded from harm, perhaps avoiding accidents or narrowly escaping danger without even realizing it. These are tangible examples of God's watchful eye over you a testament to being divinely marked. Psalm 121, 11, 12 reassures us that the Lord will watch over our coming and going, both now and forevermore. These accounts of divine protection resonate with the promises outlined in Psalm 91, 1, 2, which declare, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. When you are marked by God, His hand of protection surrounds you, providing a refuge and fortress in times of trouble. Just as Jacob, Jesus, and Moses were safeguarded by divine intervention, so too are you kept safe under the shadow of the Almighty when you trust in Him. In essence, Divine protection serves as a tangible manifestation of being marked by God, signifying His presence and favor in your life. It is a reminder that you belong to Him, and He is actively watching over you, guiding you through life's challenges and dangers. As you dwell in His shelter and trust in His faithfulness, you can rest assured that His protective hand will never leave you nor forsake you. How does it make you feel to know that God is actively watching over you from His throne? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As we conclude our exploration of the signs of being marked by God, I hope these truths have resonated with you and inspired reflection. If you've been impacted, share your experience with the community. Recognizing these signs in your life is a clear indication of being divinely marked by the Creator Himself. Reflect on the sacred significance of your existence and commit to living out your marking with unwavering devotion. Seek the Lord daily through His word and prayer, embracing the unique role He's appointed for you. And if you haven't yet encountered the loving mark of your Maker, know that He is eagerly pursuing you. Open your heart to the truth of the gospel, surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. As I pray for you, I want you to say amen to these prayers in the comment session. Heavenly Father, we come before you in humble reverence, grateful to be marked as your beloved children. Thank you for radically transforming our lives and giving us a new identity in Christ. 
Stir an unquenchable hunger within us for your word and prayer. Draw us into deeper intimacy with you, our souls longing for the living waters of your presence. When spiritual attacks come our way, remind us that it is because we pose a threat to the enemy as those marked by the King of Kings. Equip us to stand firm in your victory. Open our eyes to the divine appointments you have ordained. Make us discerning of the incredible ways you desire to use our lives for your purposes. Impart to us wisdom beyond our natural abilities. Let your spirit illuminate our minds with profound insights that can only come from our Maker. We surrender ourselves fully to you. Mark us as your treasured possession, set apart for your kingdom plan. May our lives undeniably reflect your greatness. In the mighty name of Jesus, who has claimed us, we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me on this journey of discovery about being marked by God. If you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video to help us reach more people with this wonderful content. Don't forget to share this video with someone who could use a dose of encouragement. Together, let's spread the message of hope and love. Until next time, stay blessed.